Fulcruming Dental Hygiene Instrumentation Intraoral Fulcrums Intraoral fulcrums provide stabilization, allows the hand to move as one unit, and it is the best for preventing musculoskeletal strain. Therefore, it should always be the preferred method of use. Now, always when using an intraoral fulcrum, make sure that you are fulcruming one to four teeth away from the tooth you're instrumenting. And remember, things do get slippery inside the oral cavity when there is saliva on the surfaces of the teeth. So make sure that you are fulcruming on the incisal edge, occlusal, occlusal lingual, or occlusal facial line angles of a tooth. Intraoral fulcrum upper right lingual. Notice how the clinician maintains the modified pen grasp while fulcruming on the buccal cusps of the posterior teeth. Intraoral fulcrum upper left buckle. Notice how the clinician is maintaining a modified pen grasp with a palm up position for the maxillary arch while rocking on the fulcrum. Intraoral fulcrum upper left linguals. Notice how the hand is maintained as one unit as the clinician rocks on the fulcrum. Intraoral fulcrum lower right buckle. Notice how the clinician maintains a modified pen grasp and pivots up on the fulcrum when approaching the mesial line angle of the posterior teeth. Intraoral fulcrum lower right linguals. Notice how the clinician continues to pivot up on her fulcrum in order to maintain proper adaptation of the instrument. Intraoral fulcrum lower left buckle. Intraoral fulcrum lower left lingual.
advanced fulcrums. Extra oral fulcrum, upper right buckle. When using an extra oral fulcrum, stabilization is maintained on the patient's chin or cheek using the modified pen grasp. When using an extra oral fulcrum, make sure that you hold the instrument handle farther away from the working end while maintaining that modified pen grasp. An extra oral fulcrum aids to enhance access for hard to reach areas, but can also pose a risk to either the patient or the operator if proper stability is not established. Extra oral fulcrum upper left lingual. In this video, you can see how the clinician is using an extra oral fulcrum by cupping the chin. Reinforced fulcrum. A reinforced fulcrum helps to increase lateral pressure during instrumentation. It is used by placing the fulcrum on the same arch that is being instrumented and placing the finger on the non-dominant hand on the lower shank of the instrument. A finger-on-finger -finger fulcrum helps provide stability in odontulous areas. This fulcrum is used by placing the index finger of the non-dominant hand near the area that is to be instrumented and then resting the fulcrum finger on that finger. Opposite arch fulcruming is achieved by placing the fulcrum on the opposite arch that is being instrumented. Cross arch fulcruming. This type of fulcruming is achieved by placing the fulcrum on the same arch you are working on but on the opposite quadrant that is being instrumented.